Hi, are you surprised at my third book, whose cover is shown alongside? Are you wondering what it has to do with growth investing? Well, Warren Buffett said that being a good manager helped him become a better investor, while in turn, being a good investor helped him become a better manager. What Buffett said about managing, in my case, I found to be true about writing. By learning to sleuth better, I became a better writer, which in turn made me a better sleuth investor. But writing what? Why anything? Newspaper columns, investment books, even mysteries and thrillers. But in what way does writing help me invest better? Quite simply, sleuthing requires developing the ability to read people, that is, gauge their character. It means estimating whether the CEO you've just met is another Steve Jobs or maybe another Harvey Weinstein. You can't do this by numbers only. What you need is a people's sense, but how to develop it? Luckily for me, alongside my love of stocks, I always had a love of printed words, both books and newspapers. So while sleuthing stocks and running research departments, I always also wrote newspapers columns. When my columns became popular, it went to my head and I decided to write a mystery novel too. Why not? How difficult could it be? How much different than writing a column, I thought. Famous last words. It soon became clear to me that just like picking stocks is much more than analyzing numbers, so is a book much more than a long newspaper column. So finally, after 15 years in the stock market, I decided to take a break to learn how to write. I certainly made enough money to be able to afford a very long break. The question was, learn well. After some research, I chose San Francisco State University. It was in the Bay Area and close to Stanford, where I got my MBA, and it was also where some of the writers I admired most had studied before. So I applied to their master's program in creative writing and was lucky to be accepted. I locked up my Toronto home, packed up the family, rented a house in the Silicon Valley, and plunged into creative writing studies. Now, I'm sure you are asking, did I give up the market altogether during that time? Of course not. I'm too much of a market animal for that. So I divided my time. Stock sleuthing by morning, lectures and writing exercising in the afternoon, weekends for the family. The way I figured was, even if my stocks were a little bit less fast than if I had invested full time, so what? Once I came back to the market, I'll pick up the stack. But then a funny thing happened. The more I learned how fictional characters worked, the better became my ability to sleuth real people in the market. Not only that, but once I figured how stories worked, I could also sniff out market scams with one eye closed. I could figure executives true motivation and solve the mystery of leaders' ability to inspire just as if the companies behind the stocks were detective books, detective mysteries waiting to be solved. So when I finally graduated with a master's degree in creative writing and a minor in theater, my stock was surprisingly much higher than when I thought it would be, and they kept going up and up. Even the stories of mine were published and winning awards, and then, what do you know? My mystery thriller, too, was finally finished and published and won awards. By that time, I was already back on Bay Street, that's Canada Wall Street, once again in the stock market full time, happily running research departments and eventually running some of my own hedge funds. On the side, I wrote a sleuth investor, which I hope you've read. And finally, my hedge fund was sold and I say I retired and now again I'm dividing my time between sleuth investing and writing. But writing what? Well, both investing books and mystery thrillers. As you saw, in March this year, the follow-up investment book was published, The Advanced Sleuth Investor, which I hope you've read also. And just last week, my second mystery thriller was also published. Yes, that's the one whose cover you see on the nearby page. Its name is The Undertaker's Daughter, a follow-up on the first thriller called The Debug. You can buy it on Amazon. So why do I mention it here, besides giving my second thriller some cheap boost? How can all this help you invest better? It can help you in two ways. The first is the process of learning a new subject from scratch, whatever it may be. 
For me, it was both investing and writing. For you, it might be a different new field altogether. But no matter what your chosen field is, mastering it has two steps. The first step is find out the basics of the field you want to learn. The second step, practice these basics every day, diligently, again and again and again. This rule, by the way, was also noted by Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's partner, and is also practiced by Elon Musk, both of whom have mastered seven new fields by this method. The second way is the one I mentioned just before. Just like sleuthing helped me write, so writing books helped me sleuth, and so it can help you also. But help how? After all, you are not going to start writing books. However, even just reading books should help you, especially books with strong characters. You see, human character is always the same, no matter where, no matter when, in fiction or in commerce. So just even figuring out characters in books will help you do the same thing in real life and in the market. Now, how do you figure out a character? A character is revealed by its choices, its motivations and its actions, but especially by its behavior in conflict under pressure. Learn how to read people by watching how they make choices, whether in books or in life. And perhaps most important, you'll soon find both in books and in life that being a good person of good character does not always lead to success just as being bad does not always lead to failure. It's very unfortunate, yes, but the world is as it is, not as we wish it to be. Wishful thinking leads to failure, both in books and in the market. Learn to see things as they really and truly are. Learn how to read people as they really and truly are, blemishes and all. Once you do, you'll soon take the money of those who don't see it or prefer not to see it. Now, what about my last thriller, whose cover you see above? Just for fun, get it on Amazon, read it, and see if it works. But works how? For me, there are only two criteria for books. Rule one, once you pick it up and start reading, you can't stop. Rule two, once you finish reading, you can't forget what you have read. That's it. How does my new thriller stack up? Look it up on Amazon. You can read the first few pages for free before you decide if you want to buy it and read the rest. Then write a review about it on Amazon, how well the book fulfilled these twin aims. Okay? That's all for now. Please subscribe to this channel and retweet to all your friends and subscribers so they subscribe to and buy my books, any one of them, and let me know in Amazon review what you think of them. I'll see you next time. And meantime, thank you very much for watching.